All right, you guys, I'm looking at doing a little video on uh, a lot of people want to sit there and say, oh, this is the way the Lord was when he was here. It's three and a half years while he was teaching, trying to get people to understand, teaching the gospel. Okay, now we're told with wisdom, get understanding. All right, we know we're supposed to follow Christ, but we still have to know the word of God, okay? And Jesus, he said, him and the Father are one, okay? So we know there's a where it says Isaiah 45, 7. I create peace, I create war, I form the light, I make darkness. I, the Lord, do all these things. You know, he brings evil against you. You know, he brings it against you. But yet, the world, the way they want to teach, the way they want to be, you know, because like, they like the ear tickling. They want to sit there and say, this is the way the Lord was all the time. But yet, they also want to say, they're not desolate. The Lord is still with them, you know, even while they openly display their homosexual lifestyle. Then you got people that want to tell you, even when I know that I have a calling, you have people that want to tell you how you should be doing things. You know, even though they don't have the calling, you got a calling, but they're going to tell you how you should be doing it. Because this is what they know, what little bit they read in the Bible. This is what they know. You know, Jesus was, but you know, let's leave out the part where he got upset with the Pharisees and told them hypocrites and all that, you know, leave that out because that ain't how he was all the time. It just happened once. Okay. Well, if you read and you know the, uh, what happened throughout the scriptures, why does God bring evil against you? Because when your ways don't please him, when you turn to the world, see Satan is the God of this world. When you turn to the world, this is why everybody, you know, they train their children up to kill, fight, and everything. And they have their posters at their desk, and everybody's doing what they're doing. Everybody's sealing their lip. They're doing business, making lots of money. Things are just, oh, they're being blessed, you know? See, but when I opened my mouth and I started speaking about the truth at the root of it, well, my phone stopped ringing. But now I've got people that want to counsel me and tell me how I need to do my calling, you know? That's pretty wild. And they, they, they don't even acknowledge the part where he is God in the flesh and that he has brought evil against people. And I know this is an indignation. The ozone problem, they don't even put these things together. And his indignation, which is going to turn to wrath, then the wrath is going to melt everything down. You know, but they want to sit there and say, this is the way he was. So let's start thinking this way. You know, let's get this way and do it this way. Oh, these people are your elders, you know, even though they're of the world. You know, I should be, you know, respecting these people who are blind, who are making money hand over fist because they're not talking about it. They're not losing anything, but I'm supposed to conform to these people. I'm supposed to be like them. You know, if somebody comes up to me and say, good morning, but yet it's afternoon. I'm supposed to say, good morning. You know, aren't we supposed to call things what they are? You know, and if I say good afternoon, it's more like afternoon. It's like a volcano went off. You know, because I didn't say good morning back to somebody. Does that make sense to you? It's really totally insane. You know, I've read, I've studied the Word of God. That's all I do, you know. And I know I've got a calling because things are put on my heart. I feel it. And I also know that this heat coming down. When they say it's an ozone problem, I know it's God's indignation. I know it is. And I know it's going to continue until people get sores on their tongues, until everything burns up and then liquefies, and it's made new again. See, nobody's preaching about this. Most people aren't even telling you the knowledge or nothing. Yeah, you know? and people are just very successful with their business, which, you know, I'm not coming against these people because they're successful. I just know why they are. Because the Word of God says the world will love their own. Yeah, you know? if I would have just, you know, spoke less, 
my business, they would have boomed. I'd have had a lot going on. All I had to do is speak less, you know? Be a little more tolerant, you know? Do things their way, you know? You guys dealing with people here is the most difficult thing that there is. It really is. And I know why Jesus said, I know what's in their hearts. I know what's in their hearts and I know why. Why, they're, why they do. The world will love their own. And I know when people say that they see in things one way, then you find out it's really not what you thought it was. That these people were really very carnal. They're very much of the world. That's why they're successful. See, when you tell people the truth, yeah, they don't, they can't receive that. Why? Because they were trained up. They were raised up. Yeah, everything that's of the world, their flags, everything. Yeah, they think they're being blessed by getting more work, more everything. Yeah, but the truth is, when you're speaking the truth, your phone will stop ringing. When you come out telling the truth, nobody's going to ask me to come in their church and tell them what they don't want to hear. You know, probably no more than the prophets back then. Yeah, when they tried to speak and say things because they came against them, even then. And we got these books now, you know, even Isaiah, even, even the apostles. You know, look at what happened to all of them. You know, even the prophets back then. They came up against them constantly. And you guys, they're no different today. I feel and I experience this all the time. Actually, it never ends. It never ends. You guys, don't be conformed to this world. And you know who people are around you. You know, if somebody's telling you that your elders are of the world because they might be, you know, I don't know, eight, ten years older than me, you know, maybe because they're very successful and, you know, they come like light. Yeah, you know, doesn't it say Satan comes like light? His ministers come like righteousness. And then you got people around you that just think they're they're it, man. They're it. They're the ones. You know, those are the ones I want to be like them. Yeah. You know? Well look at what Satan's done. Look at what Satan has done. Are you sure you want to be like them? Because few people are gonna escape out of this. Few. And his indignation's coming down. And anybody that's got the Spirit of God working in them right now, they know what this world is. Why do you think it says, come out from among them? Didn't say that they'll be like them and that they're your elders and, you know, to be like them. Be very, very careful, you guys. We're at the tail end of this. And a lot of people are going to be in a lot of trouble for the choices that they're making. The last thing you want to be is of this world. And if the world likes you and things are just, they've been great your whole life. You've been so blessed, you know, in these days that we're in right now. Be very careful. God bless everybody in Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior.